Yo, what's good everybody? In today's video, we are going to be building a brand new $450 gaming PC. It's going to look insane. It's going to perform quite well and for the price, you can't go wrong with it. So, like, subscribe and enjoy the video. The platform for this build is on the AM4 platform. The reason for this is because it was cheaper than going with LGA 1700. I bought the motherboard through the TikTok shop. So basically, TikTok has a shop area section that you could purchase things from. I searched the B450 motherboards and it was right there, the Asus B450M. It costed $75 but i've never purchased anything from tiktok so i had a first customer deal i was able to get this motherboard for 44 dollars including tax and shipping so we went from 75 dollars to 44 dollars including tax that is an insane deal like without this deal this build would have been like 500 dollars. so yeah tiktok came in clutch a lot so thank you and i highly recommend checking the tiktok shop to see if you guys have this deal even if you guys don't you should still see like a 40 percent off or 30 percent off coupon so definitely check it out for the processor i went with the ryzen 5 5500 6 core and 12 thread cpu it comes with the stealth cooler already so you don't have to buy a cpu cooler now, if you want to overclock the CPU, then I would recommend getting a better cooler. But if you don't plan on overclocking, then it's perfectly fine. As you can see, the cooler comes with pre-applied thermal paste. All you have to do is just place it down into the motherboard, screw it down crisscross and connect the fan cable to the CPU fan header and you're good to go. For the drive, I went with a Team Group MP33 512GB M.2. So it is PCIe Gen 3 and you could put gen 4 if you want but you won't really get the gen 4 speeds since the motherboard gen 3 so this drive is perfectly fine it was the cheapest drive i could find and you know to get you started it's gonna be good the ram i went with was a silicon power value gaming 16 gigabytes ddr4 ram it is 3200 megahertz and it looks absolutely clean Always remember to enable XMP or DOCP in your motherboard BIOS. That way you could get the full RAM speed such as 32 megahertz. For the case, I went with the Antec NX200M RGB case. Now, no one has bought this case with the RGB fans. Everyone has like the NX200M without the RGB, meaning you only get one fan, but the one I got comes with three RGB fans. Unfortunately, you can't change the color and I had to learn the hard way. You'll, you'll see later on in the video, but I would a billion, billion, gazillion times recommend the Sama ARGB case. It is way better, it looks cleaner, and it's gonna save you a lot of headaches. Please, please, man. All right, as you can see, we have the blue extension cables installed all we have to do is just cable manage the power supply connectors and boot it up and we'll be good to go now in case you're wondering i did not include the extension cables for the total price because number one you don't need the extension cables you can use the power supply connectors and it will boot up perfectly fine you can always add extension cables like in the future for around 18 through 25 dollars more but it's not required all right, so now here is the completed build.
We finished the PC. All we gotta do now is just boot it up. The motherboard has lights, so that's a good sign. Here we go. Hold on, I can't see. All right, right here. Yo! Hold on, let me just... Bro, the... The AMD uh, cooler came extremely dusty. Or, I don't know, maybe I should wipe it down. Hey, here's the RGB. Let's see if we can cycle it. No, bro, no! No! Oh, you can't change the colors! No! Yo, quick update. So, I don't know what happened. It just started smoking everywhere from right here. So, uh, yeah, PC is, I don't know when, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I really do not know what happened. The PC started smoking. I don't know what happened. Although, you, you can see, look. So I turned it off. It's unplugged. Yeah, I don't know what happened. That's for the fans. All right, so I just disconnected the cables, as you can see. This is what got burnt. And it started smoking everywhere. But now I connected my backup fans, which are, which are three ARGB thermal right fans. They connect with the, well, this was mine. It didn't have a, a controller yet to connect it to the motherboard. But because we don't have a 12 volt, I mean a 5 volt 3 pin ARGB header, we're going to have to use the controller. Controller is the SATA. So I'm recording in case another fire happens. Game time. All right. The reason the fans burned up was because it was getting like a huge amount of voltages. It was getting electricity from the SATA connector and the Molex connector. So it was just overflowing and it just started burning up. As you can see in the pictures, it kind of scraped the 24 pin extension cable. That's why I used the black extension cable for the montage. But that was my first fire from a PC. And at that point, just get the $55 case from Sama, which is a Sama ARGB case, which comes with three pre-installed fans, and it, it's, it's going to save you a lot of headaches. This case costed $55, so at that same price point, just go with Sama, please. Anyways, let's get to the benchmarks now. So we are benchmarking Fortnite on DX12 Low. As you can see, we're at Grimgate. The reason I chose Grimgate for the benchmark was because Grimgate is sort of demanding and that's because of the castle, the the lake of dashes, the things around your body, the lighting, all of that plays a factor with the FPS. So it's definitely the best place to benchmark. As you can see, we're getting around 120 FPS. So on other places of the map, you will expect more FPS. But considering Green Gate is sort of demanding, 120 FPS, not bad. Alright, as you can see, we're on DX12 high settings. There's no lumen, there's no ray tracing, no ambient settings. It's just regular high settings. The average FPS is around 80. And as you can see, we're getting about 88, sometimes 100, sometimes... 79 but overall it's pretty close to 80 most of the times
All right, so we are benchmarking Apex Legends. So we are at high settings. Yeah, high settings. V-Sync disabled. Everything's on high settings. Let's try to get a dub. It looks kind of pixelated. Not anymore, but when I close the menu, it did. It kind of does from far away. In progress. Attention. There is a new kill leader. Didn't the OG Apex map come out? What happened? Has the season really passed by? In no way. Wait, is this a sniper? No, it's a... Like an M14 type. 100 FPS, high settings on Apex Legends. Not that bad, actually. It feels smooth. Looks good. Well, up close it does. Far away, it kind of gets pixelated. But I'm pretty sure there's a setting to fix that. So... Eyes up! Get in the gym! 80 FPS with the smoke. Enemy nearby. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Oscar Mike! Bro! Alright, so we are benchmarking Warzone. We're on balance settings. There's no upscaling. This is just default benchmark. So if you want to achieve better FPS, you can always turn on FSR. NVIDIA image upscaling or Intel XCS something like that and you will achieve better FPS so the reason I didn't turn that on for this benchmark was to show you how it performs without any upscaling I will make a separate video benchmarking Warzone in more detail so I will include medium settings balance or balance is medium ultra and extreme settings so don't worry I will further benchmark Warzone in the future. But for now, we're averaging around around 75 65 through 70 FPS. Pretty good. On on balance settings by the way. So that's like medium settings. As you saw in the benchmarks, this $450 PC performed pretty good. It looks amazing. And for $450 using new parts, this build is worth it. Now, as you saw in this video, please get a different case than me. I just got this case just to see how the fans were. But without hesitation, I would get the Sama ARGB case for the same price. I highly recommend checking out the TikTok shop. And yeah, just be careful when building and definitely watch a lot of build tutorials. I highly recommend watching Toasty Bros, Zach Tech Surf, and the famous one, the one that inspired me to start my PC journey, Roby Tech. He is a legend. I will leave the links to their channel for extra help. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and Hopefully we'll be doing more PC builds in the future. And hopefully when Fortnite Chapter 2 drops, I can do a 40-60 giveaway or the 50-60 giveaway whenever it comes out. But yeah, just be on the lookout for that. So stay safe, everyone. Have a good day and see you on the next one. Peace.